Here's Campanero on the inside run. A penalty flag down, and Campanero has no running room. And Price off play action, and the southpaw going. Does not turn it over. First and ten at the Wake 26-yard line. They'll keep it on the ground, and a big hole for Josh Harris. They finally catch. Nice blocking up front. Take a look. It's just the inside zone. Good cut. McLeod overplays it, and a great cut. By and Price to the air. Going to float it downfield. Broken up. In and Price again downfield broken up and then Campanero gets lit sends a message. Price facing pressure and sack. The focal point for offenses off the edge. He's got so much speed. He's slimmed down a little bit this year. Lost 10 pounds. He goes right around the right tackle Colin Summers and. And he'll throw on the slam. A nice catch mix up. They're over three on third down. Price in trouble. Everybody covered. Flag down, and the ball is over. Four punts in the first quarter for Wake Forest. Here's Price, and he delivers a strike to Terrence. They'll try to run it here on second and short, and able to pick a hole as he tackles. And had no success, although they got the necessary yard there to get the first down. Out of the backfield, Harris. Boy, he thought he was going to get a hit. Just took his eyes off it. Warner recognized it late. That ball needs to be caught in seven. And Price, a middle screen that's incomplete. Josh Harris, and that ain't working. Pushed out of bounds on the, on the slot. He's been quiet so far. Here's Price. And out of the backfield, Harris on the catch. And able to break a tackle and get caught on in seven. Wait, yet to convert on third down, and they won't hit a price sack at the 45. Maybe they'll just try to draw him offside. Nope, they're going to run a play. It's going to be a pass play on fourth down and inches. Price trying to head for the marker. Going to be close as he goes out of bounds. Uh, defensive tackles. Here's DeAndre Martin, and he's got a running lane. Takes on a defender, Christian Jones, and then push. Here's second and four. And Price in trouble again, sacked again. Werner and Carey. Look at the replay, the news this week. There's also a penalty flag down. But the news this week about Notre Dame joining the ACC for all sports. It's interesting parts of that whole equation. Here comes a reverse pass, and Martin in trouble. To stay, but for years to come. Here's third and eight, and Price going to the outside incomplete. Oh, I know Tom Luganbill, our expert, thought so. Here's an end around to Raglan, and he's going to get dragged down today against Wake. There's second down and nine. Inside run to Harris, and gang tackle. Well, you had to think Pitt was going to put it together at some point, not saying they're going to beat a team like Tech, but at least play better as that pass is off the mark. And that's for Campanero, but no yards. Josh Harris on the stretch. He gets pummeled. Looks pretty good in 3D, I'm sure. <laughs> or Tanner Price in this game, no matter what the score. Josh Harris on first down, up the gut. And push. Pass is incomplete. And that the Clemson Tigers will have to account for. Wake is 0 for 10 on third down. This is third and seven. Price looking for the slant, and it's dropped. Deepest they've been in Florida State territory. Price will throw again. Has to step away from Warner. And has a completion of the 22nd and three. Drag down in the backfield. The ball out. Recovered, though. Harris was taken. Take a look at him against the run. To be a complete player, you got to play against the run. That time takes on the block. Keeps his love. Growing up, only two years of high school football in the United States. Wake Forest looking for its first third down conversion. So after the hold, it's first down and 20 for Wake. Play action for Price. Going to go deep for Campany, but he's okay today. Second down and 20. An inside run. Nope. Loss on the play. Outside of the pocket and make him throw on the run. Third down, 22. Pass and a double. 